Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis and Juanathan and Serana. Well, bring cat vegetable again sometime. Uh, so, last time we joined the Thieves Guild, we got a level up here. I'm gonna put in the magic. I've got nine perk points, and I don't really know what to do with them. <laughs> anyway, we joined the Thieves Guild. We were tasked with uh, shaking down some people who are all... Uh, there they are. Oh my god, I keep fucking hitting the wrong button. Okay, my frames are terrible here, but we'll see if I can find... This looks like it's down here. Oh, that's back in the rat way. Hold on. What else is... What do I have marked in my journal? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Skeever key, we'll leave that. We'll leave the... Is this on the map? It's just in Riften. Okay, I'm gonna have to rewatch that footage and see what, exactly what it said to me. Um, blue in the face, no. I guess we're just gonna go and do some optional smashing stuff. Uh, we're looking for a couple of people to shake down who owe them money. So let's see here. Oh my god, the frames are horrible in Riften when I look that way. I'm gonna look this way. Okay, let's see. So first on the list... ...is whoever is in here. Helga's bunkhouse. It doesn't say that it's not okay to enter. Can I help you? Uh, maybe? Depends if my screen comes on. Hello, Helga. If you're looking for a room, try the Bee and Barb. This place is for the working man. I have a message from Bijon. I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. Persuade. We both know there's only one way to end this. Look, I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please, be reasonable. I'll... I'll pay next month. We're running out of patience. I'm sorry. Just, just don't hurt me. Here's the gold. Now, please, just leave me. Ayo. We got it. Debt collected. Sarana wants nothing to do with it. She's just like, I'm just here for the food. I don't know that man. Well, that was easy. Let's hope we can persuade everyone just like that. And everybody's super reasonable and fair. Oh my god, my frames. I apologize, everyone. My computer is working its ass off. A pond Prawn. That's a good name. I wonder if it's a pawn shop. That'd be funny. Uh, kind of barely. Hello there, friend. All right, let's Welcome try a little diplomacy first. Prawn. What can I help you with? God damn, he seems like a nice guy. Uh, what? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Simple. You don't pay, bad things happen. Oh, I'll pay. I'll pay. Here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Okay. Again, Serana's just doing her own fucking thing over there. <laughs> Wants nothing to do with this savagery. But hey, everybody's being super reasonable. Let's see if the third guy is like that. Ian Barb, hell yeah. Oh no, it's Mustache Argonian, man. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, what my lord. Could I interest you in one of our special drinks? Special how? Uh... What manner of magic is this? How did you meet Kreevara? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. 
In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Uh, I can find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Uh, unfortunately, I think I've already sold the ones I have in the museum. Um... You might want to talk some sense into Kariva. With the rumors going around about how poorly your kids are doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. And help me convert her pay. I'm telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Okay, cool. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Excuse me, hello. Stay away from me. What manner of magic is this? Stay away from me. What? Here for a room or something okay. to drink? Okay, that was weird. Something I just had to mash the button. I have a message. Look, everything was all just a misunderstanding. I, I didn't mean to tell Brynjolf to go jump off the pier. You tell him I'm sorry, yes? What Take this. Every is single coin I know is there. I swear it. Well, that was easy. Didn't need to even bring up her family. She just fucking caved immediately. Well, shakedown's complete. Now we just gotta go back to the B in the bar, or not the B in the bar, but the Rataway. Whoop. Legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Oh, a creepy fellow. Whoop. Okay. Here we are. And then we go into the rat way. And then we should have opened up all those neat little shortcuts that'll make us get there real quick. Let's see. I wonder if those guys are still down here. Oh, yep. They sure are. Hey, bud. How's it going? Having a good time? Um, yep. I already had this down. And it's to the left here. There's still a ton of rats. Oh, dude, we got all your money. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Here's what they owe well us. Done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Oh, uh, some potions? Eh, what's Judging next then? How well you've handled those shopkeepers. I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, That's I'm the in. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Hopefully. I'm sure I will. How about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? Join the Thieves Guild. Look at that. Everybody get out of the man's way. He's got pathing to do. You haven't touched your horker loaf. Are you okay, honey? Oh, there he is. This way? What's down here? Barracks. The Christerner? Christern? Okay. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Let me show you the operation. Then you can ask your questions. Okay. Go ahead then. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I stepped too close to him. Oh, so that was the Ragged Flag, and this is like the real Thieves Guild. We can take all that and sell it. Iron Sword of Might. What does that do? Just power attacks deal 17 more damage. That's funny. It's just this way. Keep following me. I'm trying to, but you keep turning around to look at me. 
All right. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Mercer Frey. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Chef. I mean, yes, I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. The subtitle stopped However, working. The owner has there it goes. I just had to say something. Own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Uh, so how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. You can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin... Like Mallory the Yakuza. The they know their way around this place. And they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Uh, I think I'm good on armor. Tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Uh, makes sense. What's so important with these clients? The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. Fair enough. What should I do about Maybe Arangoth? Maybe that Arangoth remains alive. Arangoth. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Okay. How do I destroy the beehives? They're like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Why not level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives. And she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. Fair enough. Maven Blackbriar is the influential client? We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. So how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. Okay. Fair enough. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. And then who are you? You're not who I want to talk to. You're not who I want to talk to. Where the hell is everyone else in this fucking place? Are these... Prison cells? Coffins? This goes up to the ragged flagon. I think. Or no, it went to the... Is there anyone else here? Oh, a bunch of books? That are fake? Fake books? Oh, are you in charge of the armory? Did I fucking just walk into the armory? My bad, dude. How are you doing? Don't you have better things to do than disturb me? Know anything about the Golden Glow Estate? I'd like to know why you're wasting time asking about it when you should already be on your way. Fair enough. 
Ek. A word of advice. Don't disappoint me. Fair enough. Uh, more fake books. Log picks. Possible rivals. Note from Mercer. Cool. Okay. Requires key. That's probably their armory. Now, where are these two other people that I need to talk to? Are they marked on my map? Because I don't think I have... They're not marked on my map. Okay. It's just another cage. More cages with heaters this time. Is there something up here? Oh, hello. You're still not the people I want to talk to. What the F? There's armor just sitting right there. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, this is probably their, uh... Their training thing. Maybe it's not training. Maybe it's just fucking killing me. Well, that sucks. I gotta fucking do that whole conversation again, goddammit. Okay. Her, you could spend the rest Done with them. Still not the people I'm looking for. They're probably in the Ragged Flagon, if I had to guess. But also there's, like, a bunch of shit in here I can take, probably. Yeah, looks like it. I'm gonna go try that chest one more time. I am gonna save the game over, though. Um, just because I know that the card dropped in there, I think. Who are you, Viper the Fleet? Okay, yeah. So there's a bear trap. I see that placement there. The key work sure did. Okay. Bullshit. Wasn't even a tripwire. Okay, I got the chest. Fuck everything else. Is this just a lockpick chest? No, there's actual stuff in it. What is this? Lockpick. Lockpick. Fake tools. Okay. Well, well, I'll see if those two people I need to talk to are in the Ragged Flagon. And then after that, we just go straight to the beehive place. Okay. Oh, you, you're Delvin. Just the one who hasn't touched... And dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? I suppose I could use some advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're going to get along nicely. Cool. So... If you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. What happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm going to give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. A curse? What can we do about I'll it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's, That's what I'm talking about, in. baby. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Uh, you can train me in sneak. Ooh, what's my sneak Stick at? With me, and 46? Know you're there. We can get that up to 50. Sure. Uh, 
now let's extra work. Fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If breakings are more your thing, go talk to Vex. Numbers jobs, fishing jobs, bedlam jobs. Numbers Most of jobs. The establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Ah, your that's what I saw earlier. Change the numbers in those books so the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. Feel like doing a bit of writing? I'll do it. Fine. I'm guessing these are infinite Someone quests. With backbone. Here you go. Okay, cool. Vex. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. I don't so know if about you that. Think you're here to replace me. You're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Hey, take it easy. Easy, huh? So, should I just hand you purses of coin, or are you going to work to earn your keep? Let me give you a small bit of advice. Nothing in this line of work is easy. She's so it mean to me. To rag in the rat way would be robbing Rift and Blind. If something's being handed to you on a silver platter, then there's a catch. Steal the platter instead. You get it? I'll keep that in mind. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What sort I'm of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my I think opinion, he just teleported away. Oh, there he is. Bad luck. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Heard you're offering extra work. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. Give me a burglary job. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? I'm in. Good. Here's what you need to do. Stand up, turn your head like an owl, 90 degrees, and then walk away. Okay, so are those on my journal? Are they under miscellaneous? Yeah, okay, see. Oh, I forgot I have to summon him into Tamriel. Okay, interesting. I'll put that one on. And then... It doesn't look like it gave me the other quest. So, oh well. Oh, who are you? So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. Why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything mm. you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Is there anything you don't charge for? <laughs> Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Cool. Bring the unusual gem. Oh, I have to become a full. Oh, I don't even have to complete it. Now, if you look. Okay, thanks. So, feeling loose. I have. How about you run a job for me? Never mind then. Oh, is this an unusual gem worth Why anything? Since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Is it worth anything? Not like that, it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. How many of these are there? I think there were 24 in all. Oh Most my them as a curiosity. God! Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. Are you sure you won't buy them? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. 
Tell you what, if you find oh, the rest of them, God, talk fuck to me again. that. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. God damn it, that shit's gonna be in my inventory forever. Okay, fine. Come on, take another job so we can both make some money. Okay. Uh, let's. Wait, is there. Why is it telling me to go back there? All eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint us. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Damn it. The vault, eh? I sense. Hello? There's a rat. There's another rat. Are these just bad people? Aha! Skeevers. Rat! Rat! Got him! Ooh, necklace, eh? Who the fuck is fighting you? This is Skeever? Come on, you can do it. Okay, weird. I didn't expect the, uh, vaults to have a bunch of bullshit in them. <laughs> that was fun. Nordic arrows. Lock picks. Take some iron ingots. What the hell is down here, though? War Axe of Crystals. Black Ice deals 13 points of unresistible frost damage to health and stamina. Coin purse. Coin purse. Coin purse. Don't be nervous. There's none to be nervous about. Oh. This is trapped, isn't it? Oops. There we go. Darwin's bow? What the hell is that? Just a fucking shit ass bow. I don't know. It's probably for a quest. Let me see if I can drop it. If I can drop it, it's probably not for a quest. Quest item locked by Bow of Master. Or something. Interesting. Oh! My game crashed. Womp womp. Okay. Back at it. Hopefully, my game doesn't crash this time. What did that say? Blacksmith's what? Stay Blacksmith's shoes. What's down in here then? Ratway warrants. Okay. Let's just unlock those doors straight up. What the hell is this place? How deep do these tunnels go? Hello? I finally understand what it all means. What it was all for. The killing. And the dying. Okay. Why you little filcher? That actually... Their fires lit up the night. All across Lake Rumea. I don't know why I didn't read that it was steel. It was beautiful, really. Whatever. It's gone. Hello, sir. Ah, so tender. Come here, you juicy morsel. I'm gonna eat well tonight. Oh, okay. Very impressive. I'd say so. 
Oh, hello. Why do you disturb me, uh, mortal? I've yeah. nothing to discuss with oh. you. I wish to know the name of the one who haunts these warrens. I am Dagrilon, the greatest and most powerful mage who ever lived. But that was then. I live no more. Sound plenty alive to me. You certainly smell dead. Life and death are but words. You stand here, as do I. No, you wretched fool. Death is more than a word. It is a cold hand of rotted flesh, hissing air as foul as a goblin's whisper. Life does not flow through this shell. It is as empty as your philosophy. You mentioned you were a mage. No, Worm, I did not. To call me a mage is to call the Direni Tower a fortress and the Red Year a fire. It is a testament to my prowess that I exist on the mortal plane, even as my body decays in death's hollow embrace. You call me a worm, but your body's infested with them. How exactly how old are you? I have wandered through Tamriel since the day of the broken diamond, when Queen Potema reigned in solitude. Only a lich could survive for such a long period of time. Like a fish scuttling on land, you flap your gills, your feeble mind attempting to grasp what is beyond your comprehension. Lichdom is a fool's bargain, for necromancers content spending eternity as skinless wraiths. With a sleight of hand, they control their corpse like an avatar, as their souls are bound to phylacteries. I did not prescribe to such cheap necromancer tricks. I sought the path to true immortality through the techniques developed by the Sigic monks. Sigic monks, eh? Tell me about these techniques. The could send their voices across great distances, their voices manifesting as living ghosts in the ether of conjured space. It is even said that the Sigics could disrupt the flow of time. I've seen that. Really in the infinitesimal space between this world and the void. I succeeded in achieving the opposite to have my body held in stasis as time flowed around me. Uh, that doesn't seem to be working out very well for you. Intriguing what went wrong. The question is not what, feeble mortal, but who. One of my servants acted outside of my will. How were you betrayed? The spell surrounded my body in a cocoon of lost time, at which point I would be invulnerable from all outside influence as time passed around me. However, in the instant I returned to the mortal plane, my body would be at its most vulnerable as the soul sought to gain control of its faculties. The assailant knew this, but the fool was careless. What do you mean by careless? The blow was struck as most of my soul remained in the void, and my body had yet to return to time. When the spell was interrupted, my body became trapped in slowed time. As such, it took 50 years for my soul to regain consciousness. It took 100 years for the dagger's wound to bleed out of my neck. 200 years before I could conjure movement beyond the slow of time. Yet, two centuries later, my body still continues to wait for a spell that will never finish and a time that will never resume its normal pace. <laughs> no. Follow me, I need your help. There must be a reason for your fixation with death. Follow me, I need your help. Lead. Do not waste your breath talking. You're just a follower? That way is a grave. Those who live in it are meant to decay. Uh, are you just gonna follow me forever now? Yes. Book. Yes. Bucket. Yes. I'm very dangerous. No. Don't make me come out there and hurt you. I'm not opening this door. So you might as well leave me alone. 
If my friends find out who've been bothering me, you'll be very sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Weird. Huh. Uh, we'll see if he actually comes outside of the rat way here. Never find me. But... There might be all there is to do here. We'll see. Hello? Go away, go away, go away! Huh? Wait, who's Death there? comes for you now! Feast on their remains. Cool. Okay. There is only one way to deal with golden glow. Pathetic death. mortal! Burn it to the ground. Send a message to both Maven and Arangoth that you are in control. That's weird that he has lines for that. I'm not going to do that, though, because I want to... Well, I kind of don't need the money, so... I guess it would be fine if I did that. Excuse me, Wanathan. Wanathan, excuse me, thank you. So, it said he was put in the first slot. So, I'm assuming that means that... Yeah, he's still following us. Um, I'm assuming it means that Serana isn't counted because she's needed for a quest right now. Which means I could have multiple followers. Oh, poor white rat. Let's climb up here. That seems fun. Yeet. Okay, that works. Ragged flagging. Okay. Hello everyone, just ignore my vampire girlfriend and my lich buddy over there. <laughs> and my ghost friend. What a motley crew. <laughs> I just realized that's hilarious. What an odd cast of characters I have assembled. Beautiful. Okay. So... Got ourselves a ghost friend, kind of. Not much of a ghost. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Wanathan actually had a texture there? What the hell? That was weird. By the gods. What's this word coming I know, right? I got a fucking bunch of good people. Anyway. Now we need to go over here and burn the hives down. And clear out is safe. So I am going to leave that for next time. Uh, we are going to... We're going to leave Rift in here. But I'm going to call it there. I don't know if... Uh, having my guys in stealth makes them invisible. I wonder if, like, if they get caught, I get caught. Which would suck, and I might have to, uh, put them away for the time being. Oh, it's on the other side. It's by the lake. But that would kind of suck. I don't know if there's an option for that to where the followers can be invisible when stealth, or just not, uh, just not be found at all. Pretty much. Got the stables. Holy shit, that thing almost ran me over. Ah, and there it is. There's the magnificent beehive place that we will be going to next time. We're going to be doing a bit of hive hunting. I believe that's it. Yeah, it's just across the way there. That's a beautiful picture. I'll see you in the next one.